Looking at the female tract, we can see the medulla, labia medulla, followed by the labia minora, which covers on both halves the vestibule. So the inside area here is called the vestibule. In the beginning here on the anterior area, we can see the clitoris, followed by the opening of the urethra, which enters into the bladder. And then to the posterior part of the vestibule, we have the vagina, this muscular tube and the vaginal orifice. The vagina goes up towards the cervix, which is the entrance area to the uterus. The uterus is this whole area here. And as you might know, we have three layers in the uterus. The inner layer is the endometrium, followed by the myometrium, the smooth muscle layer, followed by the perimetrium, which is the peritoneum covering laying on the outside of the uterus and you can see it makes here a little fold even backwards. Further here above the clitoris we have the symph pubic symphysis and if I'm turning this slightly around so you can see more this half from the front and now we're not too close. We can see here from the uterus coming out right here in front we can see the round ligament reaching out towards the anterior portion of the pelvis. We also can see the, the fallopian ligament reaching all across and if I tilt a little bit you can see how the fimbri, these finger-like expulsion, cover partially the ovaries and that the ovaries have also itself, itself an attachment, the ovarian ligament, towards the uterus. Where this is a ligament, nothing is going through the fallopian tube which run parallel in this area here. This is where the ovulated egg will travel through all the way. Then we have also still behind here on the white, this is part of the broad ligament but also covers this area a little bit. Again, part of this peritoneum extension of the uh, covering of the uterus.